One of the big secrets to developing a website that ranks well in the search engines is to develop a site structure that's based on a collection of related keywords. In this video, I'd like to show you how to drill down into a market and identify theme and category keywords that you can use as a framework for constructing your website. Let's begin by defining what theme and category keywords actually are. The easiest way to understand this is to imagine that your theme keyword describes the overall theme of your website, while the category keywords describe the different categories of information contained within your website. In the context of the challenge, theme and category keywords are phrases that have a good level of traffic and an acceptable level of competition. So now, let's take a look at how we can use Market Samurai to drill down into a market to identify our theme and category keywords. To get started, I'm going to create a new project, and on this screen I need to give Market Samurai a seed keyword. For this example, I'm going to explore the wedding market, so I'm going to start with the seed keyword, weddings. And now I can come across here and click the Create button. Now to generate a list of keywords that are related to my seed keyword, all I have to do is come across here and access the Keyword Research module, and then I can come down and click the Generate Keywords button. Market Samurai then goes out to Google and brings back a list of related keywords. A good way to think of this initial set of keyword phrases is that it's actually a list of niches that relate to the market that you're investigating. So, as I come down here and scroll through this list, I can see that there are a large number of potential niches to explore in the wedding market. For example, let's take a look at the planning a wedding niche. To look into this niche in more detail, all I have to do is come across here and click this small icon of a key. This creates a new tab at the top of the screen with my niche keyword as the new seed keyword. I can then switch tabs and now I can come down here and access the Keyword Research module again and come across and click the Generate Keywords button. This time, Market Samurai will bring back a list of micro-niche level keywords that are related to my niche phrase, Planning a Wedding. Now to identify my theme and category keywords, what I need to do is analyse these micro-niche level keywords in more detail. To do this, all I have to do is come down here and click the Analyze Keywords button. The next step is to apply a series of filters in order to identify the keywords that have a good level of daily traffic and an acceptable level of competition. For the challenge, here are the filters that we recommend. In terms of traffic, we're looking for keywords that have the potential to generate at least 80 visitors per day. So, our SEO traffic filter will be 80. The second filter we'll be adding will be a phrase to broad match filter of at least 15%. This filter ensures that the phrase is something that real people are searching for using the search engines. So, our phrase to broad match ratio filter will be 15%. And with regards to competition, we're looking for keywords that have less than 30,000 competing websites. So our SEO competition filter will be 30,000. So let's go back to Market Samurai and I'll show you how to apply these filters. First of all, I'll add an SEO traffic filter of 80. Next, I'll add a phrase to broad match ratio filter by clicking this plus sign and then typing in 15% and clicking refresh filters and this will help me to filter out misleading phrases. 
Now I'll come across here and select the SEO competition checkbox and you'll notice that currently my SEO competition column is empty. In order to get my competition data what I need to do is come up here and click the Analyze Keywords button. Market Samurai then goes out and pulls back information relating to the number of websites competing for these phrases. Once I have this data, I can then click this plus sign and add in my SEO competition filter, which as you'll recall was 30,000. Having applied these filters, what I'm left with is a set of phrases that we can use as our theme and category keywords to construct the framework of our website. While there's no hard and fast rules here, generally speaking, the more keywords you can find that meet the criteria, the better. For the challenge, we'd suggest that you have at least three or four keyword phrases to work with. If you only have one or two keywords, your niche is probably a little thin and it may be time to investigate another niche. Once you find a niche that has a number of keyword phrases that meet the challenge criteria, you need to decide which of these terms you'll choose to be your theme keyword. To do this, you should examine each keyword and look for a phrase that gives you a broad scope for creating a website. For example, as I look down through my list, I can see that if I chose the phrase wedding planning books as my theme keyword, I could create a site that provides comprehensive reviews of the many wedding planning books that are available online. So of all these phrases, perhaps wedding planning books looks like the best option for my theme keyword. Beneath my theme keyword, wedding planning books, I could have category pages that are optimised for some of my other keywords such as wedding budget planners, wedding planning checklists and wedding planning guides. So what we're really trying to achieve here is to build a website that is optimised for our main theme keyword and contains additional pages that are optimised for related category keywords. This kind of structure maximises our chances of achieving a high ranking in the search engines. Okay. Now that you understand what theme and category keywords are and how to find them using Market Samurai, it's time to take action. Today's action step is to explore the niches you've been looking at and identify three niches that meet the challenge criteria. So just to clarify, what you're looking for are three different niches that each contain at least three or four phrases that meet our criteria. And just to recap, our criteria is an SEO traffic value of 80 or above, a phrase to broad match ratio of 15% or above, and an SEO competition value of 30,000 or less. The reason we look for three niches rather than one is that at this point in the challenge, you still want to keep your options open. In our next videos, we'll show you how to assess the strength of the competition in each of your niches, which will help you to make a final decision. So good luck with your search, and we hope you enjoy using Market Samurai to find your three potential niches for your online business.